How do you spot a fighter in a gym? Well, if they're jumping rope, maybe, but pretty much any guy can jump rope. Or what if they're hitting the heavy bag? Anybody can throw a punch to a heavy bag. But for me, one telltale sign that I can spot a fighter in a gym is if the person shadow boxes. But in particular, they warm up with shadow boxing with light dumbbells. Now, if I step foot in any gym in the world, anywhere in the world, I can tell right away the most popular dumbbells would be 20 pounds all the way to 70 pounds. They're always taken by some guy. Rarely do you see any guy picking up the one pound, the two pound, the three pound, the four pound, the five pound dumbbells. And usually it's seniors that pick those dumbbells up. I don't know why. And some girls too. But if you're a guy, I insist that you start your workouts with light dumbbells. Because when you start your workouts, most typical guys, they use maybe 15 pounds, 20 pounds to warm up. But I challenge you to warm up using light, light, very light dumbbells because for one purpose only, to work on speed. Speed is so essential to your fitness program, which you're, you're probably neglecting because all you're thinking about is strength and you're just slow as hell most of the time throughout your workouts. So usually when I spot some guy warming up with like one pound to five pound dumbbells, He's probably a fighter, probably in my eye, all right? So I'm going to show you some footage of me warming up with some light dumbbells. So as you can see, most guys don't pick these dumbbells up in any gym that I step foot in. And most guys are kind of afraid or feel awkward when they shadow box. But I think the gym is the best place to work on your shadow boxing because there's, there's mirrors everywhere so you can see your form. So when I'm in a gym, I, I warm up with light dumbbells and I look at myself, I look at my form in the mirror, right? And you can see me jumping up and down, hopping up and down. That's good. Just get the blood flow going because most guys are probably not warming up properly as well. You probably just step foot in the gym and you start picking up the 15 pound dumbbells and that's your warm up and you're skipping your, your stamina, your treadmill, your road work and all that. So if you don't want to do that stuff, if you want to avoid the machines, just warm up by shadow box. Okay, just move around, hop up and down with light dumbbells. As you can see what I'm doing right now. So I'm moving, moving around. I don't have a set plan. I'm, it's all just freestyle because I've done it so many times, right? So I'm just getting the, the flow going. Just get the flow going. Okay, start the engine, right? Just let the engine run, right? Just let it go. And the best thing you can do is just look at your form in the mirror as you do it. And when you do it the first time, yeah, it may be awkward. Maybe you guys are laughing at you, but who cares? Nobody cares, right? Once you get really good, they're going to stop laughing, all right? So just move around so you can see just working on my hooks, okay? Light dumbbells, uppercuts, just moving around, moving your arms around, okay? You got to, you know, loosen up all your joints and everything, right? Just warm them up before you start lifting really heavy. I don't know why guys just go straight to heavy. All time, right? Okay, so in a, in a way, I'm stretching and warming up at the same time. So I'm killing two birds with one stone. So just big wide arm windmills, you just get the shoulder warmed up, right? I don't see any guy doing this in the gym. I don't know why. Moving. Don't stop. That's the key. Don't stop. Just It's just like water in a river. It's always flowing. Always flowing. Don't stop. Don't let the blood flow stop right don't take breaks for god's sakes okay okay so just moving around moving the dumbbells around right and yeah when you pick up one pound dumbbells for the first time as a guy you think this is so silly but again you got to think about it this way you're not doing t four sets of 10 like you do with the proper weights you're doing thousands and thousands of reps with these light dumbbells okay so think of it as like one set of a thousand then you won't be laughing anymore, okay? So move it around with light dumbbells. Play around. And 
fun thing is that these dumbbells are always available. Wherever I go in the gym, they, these light dumbbells are, are always available. So fun fact is uh, I pick up maybe multiple light dumbbells if I want to challenge myself. So I put like two light dumbbells in one hand, one light dumbbell in the other. Mix and match. Play around because you, you got this, there's a lot of them available. And you want to work on your speed and flexibility. Stretching, moving your arms around, and work on speed. Think of it as you're, you being submerged underwater. That's the effect that you want, okay? Just working on the speed with the dumbbells, okay? And just get the body flowing. Because if you had nothing in your hands and you were warming up, would it be the same? Mm, you could. You, you could pull it off. But holding like dumbbells just accelerates the process of getting your body warmed up, in my opinion. So just move around. Okay, so you can see I'm doing circles. All that fun stuff. What I'm doing here is just, I'm playing. I'm not thinking. I'm just playing. Okay. Moving my body. Get the blood flow going. And about 10, 15 minutes of this and I'm ready to go. Ready to go do my regular workout. But um, here's another fun fact. For me, when, during my workouts, I like to interject light dumbbells in between sets. So, for example, if I'm lifting like, I don't know, like heavy squats or heavy deadlifts, in between those sets, I switch to the light dumbbells, okay? Because I don't want to stop. I don't want to just sit there and play with my smartphone like most of these kids do, okay? Instead, after I, I finish a, a really heavy set, I switch to resistance bands or light dumbbells, as you can see me doing right now, okay? Because I want to keep that blood flowing, all right? Think of it like a fight. You never take breaks when you're in a real fight. Yeah, boxing match is different, right? And you have rounds. But in a real fight, you need your stamina. So there's no sitting down. There's no smartphone breaks. There's no grab some water, period. No, it's just keep going. Keep flowing. Keep flowing until the fight's over. Okay, just keep flowing. Keep moving. That's the key. All right, so hope this video has been helpful. Leave a comment down below uh, what you think about light dumbbells, using them. Subscribe for more videos. I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.